Hi, I'm Brenda with Sorted Organizing, and I want to share with you today my solution for on-the-go people. I call it the mobile office manager, and this is perfect for those people who are on the go, networking all the time, gathering all the business cards, those random thoughts and ideas. If you're a sticky note person, we contain it all in this little system. All the random pieces of paper, it's all organized right here, and it's very easy to do. So I want to show you how to make your own. Now, all the supplies that I'm going to share with you today, I bought at the office supply store and actually right next to this video is a PDF that you can go ahead and download with your little shopping list and take right to the store. Now all these things I got from Office Max so you can either order them online or go to your closest Office Max. There's a little plug for Office Max um, or you can take it to any other office supply store. I think they're Avery brand type products so that you can get them probably from Avery. But anyway these are available to you and the total cost to make this probably was about 40 bucks so it's very reasonable but I tell you that the order organization that it provides to you is priceless. So let me show you how to make it. First of all, this is like a little bit bigger than an 8x10, um, which is perfect. It's about an inch wide. It's very portable. It can go into your purse or your briefcase, ladies, or guys, you can just carry it around. This particular one is in, in blue, but it comes in all kinds of different colors, so whatever is your preference. But look what's really cool. If you have a business, or if you don't, you can either print a, paper, a, a picture of your family and put it on the front or your, your logo. So it's kind of like your own little branding. Um, so I put my little logo and my name at the bottom, so it's kind of cool. So in case I forget my name, I can see it's right there. So anyway, so that's the cover. So it's 8x10, and it's a three-ring system. So you've got the rings in the front here so that you can add anything that you want to add to it. Now, also, it's a great little pocket here. So if you've got flyers you need to hand out or all those little tchotchke things, maybe your business cards, pens, you can go ahead and put it in this little front pocket. So that's very cool. So I'm paper-based in my calendar. So I create, I went ahead and bought a calendar that I like and just did, took out the little spirals and put it within the three ring and punched the little hole. So you can do the same. So you have a whole variety of calendars out there. Choose the one that works for you and put it within this. So I think this is like the 5 by 7 size calendar. Okay, this is where it gets fun. So here you have, if you're a sticky note person, you've got the supplies of sticky notes right there. Is that not cool? Now these are the two by two sizes. And what I did is I just took one of the little pads and split it into six so it's not too bulky and just separated them out onto this um, piece of paper or the, this tab. Now what's really important to know is I always buy the super sticky. That way I know they're going to stay in there and I have no problem with it. Now you might save a buck buying the cheaper ones, but I really haven't had great luck. So I'm going to suggest that you keep up with the, the super sticky ones. Okay, so here, this particular product, it already came in this size to go in this binder. So you're not having to cut anything down and it comes with five tabs. Now what I did is, I'm not going to tell you to stop using sticky notes, I want you to use them effectively. So let's put them in priority order instead of putting them all over your computer and wallpaper where you stop looking at them. So this book allows you to keep on top of them. So the first tab here I have called, whoop, there it is, high priority. So these are things that are high priority items, and see I just took a little, um, uh, a, uh, return address label and print it on here. And when I stuck it on the little tab, I put a return address label on the back too to make it nice and steady. So there's my high priority tab. So anything that I need to do on my stickies are high priority, I put within my high priority. So I know I'm gonna focus on those and get those done. My next tab is called to do soon. These are things I wanna get done in the next couple of weeks. Then I have when time allows. These are those things that, you know, they're those random thoughts and ideas that I want to eventually get to, but I don't want to put any time commitment to, but I don't want to forget about them. So I just put them in my when time allows. And then I have a tab for uh, calls to make. So those are the phone calls and things that I want to follow up with um, people. Now, here we've got the business card pack. So this is brilliant when you're gathering up all those um, business cards and things. Now let me take you a hint here for you, I'll give you a hint. I don't want you storing all your contacts. This is not for your contact storage. This is for the people you want to follow up with or the contacts you want to have at your fingertips. So this is really for you on the go. This is really handy to have. And so when you're gathering all those business cards, you can kind of just put them in here and you can create sticky notes with the reminder of who you need to follow up with and what you need to do. Or you can even take one of the sticky notes and just stick them right on top of the business card to remind you whatever it is where you met that person or what follow-up you want to do. So that's pretty cool. 
So then we have, and behind here, we've got all of our business card pages. And remember, these are all products already pre-cut and, and to the size of this binder, so they're brilliant. So then we have um, the, the five pockets that come in the little package. And what I did is I numbered each of the pockets here. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now here's where this gets handy. A lot of times we have miscellaneous pieces of paper that go along with the task that we have to do. So this particular sticky, I wrote whatever I needed to do, and I put a little circle with pocket number two in the corner there. So I know when I'm ready to go to this task and do it, I can go to straight over to pocket number two and pull the piece of paper that I need to go along with that and get the task done. And that's what helps prevent those paper piles, because you leave that paper out to remind you you got to do something with it. So instead, put it in your, your mobile office manager with a sticky note with the priority and what you need to do, and you know right where that paper is when you're ready for it. Very cool. Then you have back here, it comes with pre, you, you can buy the set of, of uh, line paper. So when you're at those networking meetings or you're at a random training, you have a place that you can jot down the notes and have. So this is, I love this. So here's another cool trick I want to teach you about these pockets. Here in the calendar, a lot of times in the calendar, and I don't have anything written here as an example yet, because so I'm just getting ready to use mine. This is for July, and it's, it's still May, so I'm in my older one. But this one here, when you have a, an appointment, sometimes you have directions written out or an invitation with directions. You can actually use the pockets to support your appointment. So you would put your appointment information there, and then put the pocket number that you're going to put the directions or the invitation to, so you know that when you're ready to go to that appointment, you can go to that pocket and get that information that you need. So this is what I call my mobile office manager. Love it, love it, love it. And if you feel like you need a little bit more space, you can get this in an 8.5 by 11 size too. All the same type of um, supplies that go within this, you can buy in the full size 8.5 by 11. I love this 8 by 10 though. It's the perfect size to go in my purse and it doesn't feel so heavy. And when I've got it sitting down on the table, it's very easy to work with. So if you like this idea, like it on my Facebook page and um, I'll be sending you some more additional tips and hints. Uh, and don't forget to download uh, the PDF for your shopping to make it really easy for you. Here's wishing you, here's wishing you an organized and productive day.